Today, we are going to be going over the difference between natural materials, also called raw materials, and synthetic materials. We're going to start with natural. Also, um, we might be referring to these as raw materials. This is because these are materials that are found only in nature. All raw materials can be found in nature. These are things like wood, water, cotton, plants, things like that, things that can grow, um, things that humans had nothing to do with. All right, humans don't create wood. Humans don't create water. Nature does all of that for you. So if you're thinking, what is something that could be natural? Think, can I go outside and can I find this? All right, humans had nothing to do with the creation of natural materials. They might have planted them, but they can't physically grow the plants. Synthetic materials are materials that are made by humans. All right, so synthetic materials might use something that's natural or raw, but usually you have to have chemicals within the process to make it. Perfect examples of this are paper and plastic. Paper comes from one of our natural materials, wood. However, in order to get that nice white color for the paper, we have to bleach it. Bleach is a chemical, all right? So by adding a chemical to it and by humans having an impact on how it's made, we have gone, we've taken something that's raw and we have turned it into something that is synthetic. Other materials that are synthetic, we can think of fabrics. Polyester is a common uh, fabric that's used to recreate that feeling of silk. All right. Polyester is made through the use of chemicals. So therefore, it is synthetic. The last example we're going to talk about when it comes to synthetic materials is plastic. Plastic is going to be our theme for the rest of this unit. Plastic is a synthetic material that is primarily made through the use of carbon okay one of the special things and the reason why we use so many synthetic materials is because they tend to be very cheap to make they are stronger and easier to use than many raw materials a way you can remember that is imagine trying to write on tree bark versus writing on paper okay and then in addition to that we can sometimes use recycled materials to help us create synthetic products. So that uh, whenever we recycle aluminum or plastic or paper, we can then use synthetic processes to make those into different products. So synthetic doesn't always mean bad, all right? We need some synthetic, um, so some synthetic products in order to improve our way of life. Right? A lot of the surgeries, like implants that doctors use, come from synthetic products. Our final topic that we're going to talk about are bioplastics. So we remember back all the way with the ecosystems unit, bio means living. However, in this case, we are not talking about living plastics. Um, we are good. Bioplastics are almost um, kind of a combination of these two. Um, plastic, unfortunately, has many downfalls with its uses. Because it is created from carbon, those carbons bond together into chains and those create something called a polymer chain. All right, imagine if everybody in class were to hold hands and we were to stand in a very, very long line. All right, imagine each person is their own molecule. And so we have molecule next to molecule next to molecule all bonded together. And it's very hard to break those molecules apart. So that is why it takes so long for plastic to break down in nature. It can take over a thousand years for one plastic fork to decompose in a landfill due to how it is created with carbon. Bioplastic tries to serve to um, reduce that amount of time. So bioplastics are plastics that are made from corn instead of carbon or instead of oil really so when we make normal plastics we use oil which is a form of carbon in this case bioplastics use corn which still has that carbon in it all right but it's easier for those molecules to break down so while these bioplastics 
might be better for the environment because they break down faster, they are still considered synthetic because it is a human process that still involves chemicals. All right, so remember, synthetic does not always mean negative. It's not always a bad thing. For, ex um, for example, bioplastics is a synthetic product that we're going to be looking into to show how these can replace our regular one-use plastics that take a thousand years to decompose. So just as a review, natural products are materials that are found in nature. Synthetic, pro synthetic products are human-made. They usually involve chemicals, and they are examples such as plastic and paper. Over the next two weeks, we are going to be going more into bioplastics, how they're made, and how they can impact our future. If you have any questions about this, send me a message on Schoology. And there is also a synthetic versus natural reading just below this video in Schoology that you can read if you still would like some more information.